Okay, so my new, two new Hamilton watches just arrived this morning. These will be my second and third Hamilton. I had one, um, I bought it about, probably about over 10 years ago. So let's have a look at uh, the two watches. Now I'm not sure which is which because the boxes have got no marking. So let's start with this one. There's no serial numbers, or is there? No, there's no numbers on there. So this is the box that it comes in. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a bit of an improvement from my first Hamilton that I got. So you've got all the cards and stuff in there, the manual. Let's have a look. No, oh, they have dated it in the serial number. Okay, so that's the two-year international warranty card. Only two years. And then you've got the manuals and warranties. Let's have a look. Is that the manual? Yeah, use the manual. I think fairly straightforward to use one of these, that's it. That's quite a lot of space in there for for very little. Is I don't is this wood? It doesn't feel like wood, it feels more like a plastic, so let's see which one it is. Okay, so this one is the I believe it's called the khaki field. So there's the reference number. And it comes on this NATO strap. I do not like NATO straps, so I will be changing that. I hate these plasticky bits that they put on this because they're always so fidgety to get off. All right, so there we go. Yeah, uh, and I especially don't like this leather bit. I understand why they've done it. It sort of protects the holes from uh, getting bigger and wearing out, but I really don't like it. So here we have it. No anti-reflecting by the look of it. So almost immediately the watch failed. Uh, I was winding it uh, because it's mechanical. So I was winding it to, to get it going and it just started to tick and there was a a noise, a very strange noise, like a spring uh, breaking and it just stopped. Uh, the second hand stopped. Uh, no matter how much I wind it, it just won't do anything and you, can, you can't even hear it. I mean, See, normally when you're winding the watch, you can hear it, um, uh, the mechanism winding, but it's not doing anything. So, um, yeah, this runs the, uh, what is it, the ETA 2801, I believe, um, and it's modified by Hamilton. Uh, they increased, I think, the barrel uh, to make it last um, 80 hours compared to the normal 40-something hours. So, and it's I think it's uh, it's, it's quite well known for... for being quite fragile. Um, I know a lot of people have said they would prefer the old movement. I know one of my friends called Kibble, um, he's also got this Hamilton and uh, he said um, he'd prefer to have I think the older movement but he's got this new movement because it was a gift. So the watch is going back. I've called uh, Hamilton, uh, the, the main dealer I got the watch from. So it's going to go back. They said send it back and they'll take a look at it. Uh, whether they will fix it or give me a new one um, I'll have to wait and see. Um, I'm, I'm a bit unsure of what to do because I do like the watch, but unfortunately, because I ordered the two watches together, and um, you probably saw in the unboxing, I hadn't opened this one up yet. I've been wearing this non-stop, and I actually do prefer the Pioneer a lot more. And it's kind of made me think, do I really want this watch anymore? because I like to wear this and this will get very little time I think on my wrist. This just fits more comfortably. Uh, this is a little bit bigger. I think it is it 38 mil. Um, so it's a little bit bigger. It's got longer lugs and this just feels so much better on my wrist and it's I think it's better to look at as well. Not had any problems with this. I will do a full review on this in a couple of weeks and, uh, and show you some more shots of it. It's a great watch. I think I'm so pleased that I got it. Uh, so this one I'm not sure what to do. I got it at a fantastic price. Um, so whether or not, I mean, they'll give me a refund or they'll give me another watch or they'll fix this one. Or I can put the money towards something else, but there's not really anything else that I want. So I'm a bit sort of stuck on what to do. I'll wait and see what they say. But yeah, very disappointed in the fact that it broke. And honestly, I'm, I'm a little bit dis disappointed in the watch itself. It's not as 
nice as as it is when I saw it, um, if that makes sense. But yeah, um, I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do with it, whether or not I'll get another one or have this one re um, repaired because obviously it's still under warranty. But if I do get another one or, or have this one repaired, I will do a full review on it and uh, and get back to you. And I'll tell you what exactly happened with this one. Uh, as you can see, it's still I still got everything on there, the labels, and the, I haven't taken anything off because I was literally just winding it and it just made that noise and nothing else, no matter what I do. Um, I actually, it's it's quite funny when you talk to them um, and they say, oh yeah, well it's a mechanical watch, you need to wind it, and she actually was on the phone, okay, do this, do that, and I was like, all right, I don't want to sound like a moron um, and say, look, I know how mechanical watches work, you don't need to tell me all this, so I just played along, did what she's told me to do, which is basically just wind, keep winding it, winding it until it starts to move, uh, and it's, it's not doing it, so, um, it, yeah, completely, yeah, disappointed, I'll wait and see what happens, um, uh, and see, and take it from there, but like I said, much rather have this one, and whether I'll just keep this one, obviously I'm going to keep this one, but just get a refund on this, or just buy it, get it another one, so, Great deal I got on it, it can just be as a spare watch or I could give it to a family member as a gift since it was such a great deal. 